With the increase in the networking devices, either for professional or personal use, the need to access the internet to perform various activities has increased. And in this process, having an IP address assigned and then being routed to the network model and is applied using the classless interdomain routing CIDR. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To begin with, we will look into what is CIDR, that is classless interdomain routing. Moving on, we will look at some of the rules to perform the CIDR addressing, continuing with the working of the CIDR, and at the end, we will look into some examples to better clarify all the doubts we have learned so far. Now, let's take a look at the first heading, that is, what is CIDR? The CIDR or classless interdomain routing is a network concept designed to oversee the assignment of IP addresses to a system to replace the outdated way of classful addressing system. Furthermore, using the CIDR method, there is low wastage of IP addresses and it also is helpful in maintaining the routing table and it performs the task of subnetting, which saves a lot of IP addresses. Now let's move on to the next heading, that is, Rules of using CIDR. To better understand the working of CIDR addressing in the later part, please take a look at the rules very seriously. Let's take a look at the first rule, that is, the IP addresses assigned are according to the CIDR are to be continuous, as the ISP will provide them in a sequence to minimize the address wastage. For example, if we have an IP address 200.10.18.32, then the addressing will take place as 200.10.18.33 and moving on to the nth position as mentioned in the example. This proves that they are continuous in assigning of IP addresses. Let's move on to the next rule that is the number of addresses in a CIDR block is to be power of 2 that is in case the number of addresses is odd then it's invalid value for example 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 where 4 represents the number of host whereas if the value is 17 then it's an invalid value as for the last rule we have use of CIDR block for notation purpose that is for example if we have 200.11.19.34 slash 28 as an IP address, then the block ID of this IP address is 28 and the host ID is 4, which is calculated using 32 minus 28 because in an IP4 address, 32 bit is the maximum limit. Now let's move on to the next setting that is working of CIDR. The CIDR addressing applies the variable length subnetting masking, that is VSLM for short, as the basis of its working method. That is used to break the conventional IP addresses into smaller subnetworks of varying sizes according to the user requirement. Let's take a look at an example to understand the working process. In the given example, the IP addresses 195.10.20.40/ 16. Now let's solve the question. To begin with, from the given IP address, we can determine the network prefix that would be 195.10.20.40, whereas the suffix represents the slash 16 part. The number 16 in an IP address represents the number of ones in the address that is known as the block ID or the network ID. And the host ID is determined using 32 minus 16 because 32 is the maximum limit of bit length in an IPv4 address. So the host ID is 16. And the total number of hosts 
that are available in the network is calculated using 2 to the power number of hosts. That would be 2 to the power 16 for this case. So the value is 65,536 available host in this given network ID. Now let's move on to the examples to better understand the working. The first example is the given IP address 192.168.200.10 slash 28 and we have to find the relevant information. Let's begin. For the first step, convert the IP address in a binary decimal format that is for this IP address it would be the given binary format. Now let's find out the network mask for this IP address that would be 28 ones and four zeros. The point to be noted is according to the slash number we point the number of ones for network mask. For example in this question we have slash 28 so the network mask as 28 ones beginning from left to right and the last four digit would be zero and in numerical form the value comes out to be 255.255.255.240 and this is the network mask for our IP address now let's move on to the next information that is network ID the network ID for the given IP address is calculated using this way by the given subnet mask that is slash 28 we assume that 192.168.200 does not change because it is a part of network id and the point to be noted is the network id is never to be tampered with only the host id can be used to change the value that means we will open dot 10 part in binary format that would come out to be 0001010 then change ones to zeros and perform the and operation after performing the and operation for the last four digits that is the host id part we will get 192.168.200.0 slash 28 that represents the network id for the given ip address Similarly, we can find the number of hosts that would be easy that is 32 minus 28 that is 4 and the total number of hosts would be 2 to the power 4 that is 16 and the first host ID in this given IP address would be 192.168.200.1 with the completion of this example we have completed all the relevant parts regarding CADR working. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.